So, I'm Elisa. I go to Temple, senior. Uh, I'm not graduating this year, unlike most of us. I love school so much, I'm staying another year. Um, okay. um, God had other plans for me to stay, um, and I just want to share my testimony with you all and how great He is to me. Um, I grew up in a loving Christian family, and for that, I'm enormously grateful. Things were always just pretty good with me grade school, middle school. High school, we tried to make the best of it, have some fun. Um, during those years, I only really saw God through the eyes of my parents and those around me. Um, my Sunday school teachers, youth pastors, even some friends. And, um, sometimes I found myself doubting that there was even someone out there who cared for me, as they said. And, um, and if there was someone, why would he love me? Why would he really care about me? Um, I only knew him through the word on the street. Um, and coming to college, stumbling upon GCC, my first week of college orientation, um, was quite an early sign that God was going to do some serious work in my life over the next four years at Temple. I started attending, attending Sunday services, getting involved in family groups, and even started serving the whole nine yards. Um, something immediately felt different, I just couldn't pinpoint it. For me, knowing God through the comfort level of my family was always just good enough for me until I came to GCC and became more involved. Um, I found myself being daily challenged and supported um, by other people. Um, and suddenly the church going norms I grew up with became real and powerful in my life. The same God that my parents knew, that my youth pastors knew, that my friends knew, he was my God, and I could talk to him whenever I wanted. During my senior year in high school, I remember writing this letter to my future college self. I don't know, I did that often. I, don't ask. <laughs> um, but it said, um, wherever you are and whatever you do, I pray that you will always make God the focus and the center of everything. And at the time, I didn't really know what I was writing. I might have just, I don't know, it's been writing. Um, but yeah, it's something I look back on and I really appreciate that that was the goal and that it can really be my goal now. Um, so it's something easily done or read through a letter or hearing it a thousand times, but it's rather something I've learned to wrestle with and I'm still wrestling with um, each and every day. Um, but I appreciate more and more that the God of the universe forever wants my heart, and in return I can only offer it to him. Thank you.